and there's a long, long silence. Thanks, I just started the recording. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, you know. Now I have to Never edit this get out. A proper intro. Welcome back to Y Caliber. I'm your guide, Matt, and we are playing Star Wars Edge of the Empire. And with me, as usual, are my compatriots, Bill and Ted. Whoa. I'm just kidding. They're not here. That was <laughs> excellent. I, I was excited for a moment, but then just... I was Matt looting destroyed. with false promises, and I'm leaving right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Get out of here. Uh, so, I guess, if you want to remind people of who you are. Uh, I'm Mike Myers. I'm the GM. Uh, and I am here through a time machine in order to uh, bring you happy fun times. <laughs> I knew it. Mike Farrell Knight's Reluctant Hero 2. This time I have shoes. Yay. I'm Mike. I'm I'm Galen, the hired gun. And i um, hoping we're not all going to die this time without Prestop here to talk us out of a Sarlacc's mouth. Don't worry. I've got social skills all over the place. Your perception can totally, like, lead you into how to make a correct lie. This Gan can see we are totally fucked. <laughs> I, I can perceive that this lady is trying to seduce me. It's okay, because I'm Jared, and I'm playing Tovin, and I actually have social skills. Yay. In real Only life, in the too. Game, though. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> and uh, I'm Robert Cop 3, and I will be driving the Clambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! <laughs> also, also, I'm Gears. <laughs> also, what did I say Mike Myers? Uh, you said Bill and Ted. I was thinking Wayne's World for some reason. Yeah, okay. you completely got that wrong. I didn't I, I, want to be that much of a nerd that I was like, excuse me. Yeah, we'll let the YouTube commenters take care of that. <laughs> yeah, the, I, so I've already done the Motley Crue thing, and now I've got the uh, movies mixed up, so I'm, I'm back. Yeah, don't, for, don't, don't forget the Star Trek joke last time. <laughs> Because they won't let you forget it. <laughs> well, I'm, I was just, I'm going to go assume, and I'm sure everyone else will assume, that you were just going with the general trend of 80s and 90s comedies. Yes, exactly. That, that's the entirely uh, generous uh, forgiving of the team's <laughs> mistakes. Good. Let's roll. All right, so uh, we've already rolled four die. You guys gave me all the dark side points, which is awesome. I hate the dark side. It's awesome. Uh, last session, you guys uh, mostly spent in bar fights with Prestov. It was pretty awesome. Uh, you got a lot of shopping done, but the more important parts were uh, where Burabon led you to his uh, secret cobble of uh, totally not Twilight gangsters that are trying to protect their mining interests from outside other gangsters. More powerful gangsters. Those, those jerks. Those jerks. So... You met, um, what's her name? Nin, I believe it is. That uh, was a female older Twi'lek that Tovan totally charmed into giving each of you a single grenade and also some uh, worn out armor. You All may right. have gotten her phone number too, or her hollow net uh, address, whatever. Let me remember what kind of grenade that was. It was either a frag or stun. I'm assuming it was a frag grenade. It's up to you, I think. Yep, I don't know. Okay. He pulls out the dentist drawer of grenades. <laughs> You've been such a good boy this time. You can pick one. Ooh, oh, I boy. Want the spider ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a ribbon and everything. That makes it pretty when you throw it. It's all distracted. Like a streamer. <laughs> Uh, but in addition to all this, uh, Nin both hinted that perhaps some sort of a smuggling contract could be set up with you guys in order to smuggle out Rill, which is a re weak form of spice that is usually made for medicines. Uh, but in order to do that, well, first she basically just wants you to escort Burabon to the mines. I mean, that's that's all she really asked you to do. But of course, this all uh, this whole looming threat of this guy named uh, Angu Drom, who is kind of throwing money around, throwing thugs around, he's being kind of a dick, and trying to force the uh, Twi'leks out of their mind. Which, of course, is uh, inhibiting real production, and that would uh, interfere with you guys' smuggling contract. But 
she didn't quite come out and ask you for help with that per se. No, she was she was busy negotiating with Tovan. <laughs> well, she was a blue skin babe, not a green skin babe. Does that make a difference? But I don't Jared? have negotiate. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's just not a coded skill. <gasps> so shall we? Shall we take a magical trip to the mine? Along the sand brick road? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That sounds great. Indeed. You wake up, Prestov is probably hung over to like an intense degree, so you guys just have to weaken and burnies him. Sounds good to me. Uh, basically, uh, in the morning, after you guys have your rest and uh, Tovan finishes negotiating with Nin, uh, Bourbon leads you down a kind of a narrow service tunnel that gets you beyond the walls of the city. And there's a kind of a, you know, a suitably sized speeder for you guys to take. Um, the nav computer has already... <laughs> they have Banthas on Ryloth. They, they do now. <laughs> <laughs> he spends a destiny point to declare the existence of one on Ryloth. <laughs> Whatever the uh, Bantha equivalent on Ryloth is. <laughs> I wouldn't even begin to know, but I'm sure uh, the commenters could probably inform us. They seem really uh, uh, knowledgeable of, like, Twilic anatomy and <laughs> the sort of things like about Twilix. Like, the singular of Leku is Lek. I did That's, not know that. So I heard. <laughs> Expanded universe. Oh, yeah. All right, but no, uh, you do get a suitably sized land speeder that could uh, take you there. It's a uh, nav computer is already programmed to lead you to the real mines. You just need someone to pilot it. So, who's got a good pl pilot planetary check? I do. I've got one. Are you sure it's good? Well, it's, <laughs> two, it's, I it, it's two. I, I have pilot bullet into someone's face. What does that run off? Uh, does that run off agility? Yeah. Yeah. I've got three agility and one point in pilot planet. I don't know how how Same. you're doing there. You can drive. Well, my them. again, my yeah, my planetary, my pilot planetary level is two, and my agility is three. So he would be the better pilot in this case. It's okay. I can do land speeder co-pilot. That <laughs> sounds good. Get driving, Gand. Gand can do backseat driving. Gan, this Gand can make up for the fact that Galen has no depth perception. <laughs> Skin oh, believes really you good. missed the off ramp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happened too many times in Houston, or almost happened. Houston has off ramps. I thought it was just a giant highway. It's more like a giant strip mall. Along a highway, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're driving. Yes. Do I need to make any rolls right now, Steve? Not at the moment. Okay. Uh, but essentially, you guys are led by the nav computer. It's a pretty easy drive, but it's a long way oh. out. It's several hours across uh, barren sandscapes with rocks and crap, and you basically just need to like kind of lazily steer around the rock. The rest of us are all napping. Yeah, pretty much. It's like a road trip, pretty much. Rogans you... are always napping. <laughs> <laughs> This Gand is just, you know, occasionally pointing out every single rock. <laughs> this Gand doesn't stop fiddling with the radio the whole time. Pressed off is sleeping in the trunk. <laughs> Where is the Gand music channel? We don't have music in my people. Now wait, that but... directly contradicts episode the first part of the prologue. Sure does. You just violated <laughs> no. the We've got we no We've got music, <laughs> just not on Ryloth. <laughs> <laughs> retcon, retcon. <laughs> Fury is backpedaling. Uh, that's me jamming all the time. Oh, anyway. So as you get uh, further from the spaceport, it is, of course, uh, well, a couple hours out, it starts getting more and more hazardous, so you have to have to start paying attention, actually. 
I mean, there's no roads out here. It's all just basically straight up uh, flat deserts and rocks. I have perceived that there are rocks in the desert. There are a lot of rocks. Oh yeah, they're funny. And as you keep going, eventually you get to this part where, uh, well, the rocks become a lot. It's just all of a sudden just rocks everywhere. Loose rocks, jutting stone spurs. It's a little interesting. So at this point, Galen, in fact, will have to make a piloting check. Uh, he will actually have to make two piloting checks. They will be uh, both average difficulty and two purple die. Okay, average difficulty, two purple die. He doesn't know how to rock, sorry. <laughs> well, I should offer... Well, that was my fault. Um, you, you only have to make those if you don't want to speed uh, slow down. No, slowing down is gay. We're gonna we're gonna make them. <laughs> That's so how careful drivers. So, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe this Gand can give me an assist since he's so keen on watching for rocks. This Gand can do no such thing. <laughs> that only okay. works in starships. Ah. <laughs> Okay, so just to make sure, I've, for my skills, I got I got one green die, two yellow dies, and two purple dies. Is that right? That's Steve? exactly right. Yep. Okay. We're learning. Nice. We've learned how to roll. Time to switch systems. <laughs> <laughs> I think Gears was just ejected from the speeder. We have to find something even more obscure. <laughs> Let's play A rock monster. Oh God. Nah, Garignac, uh, Garignac, Garignac. Careful, <laughs> <laughs> you talk. No, but the piloting check is successful. Only uh, it's stressful for you, not for everyone else. So you'll take one strain and then make another piloting check. The same difficulty. Slow down, Galen. We're going to lose Prestov and the Vampa. <laughs> <laughs> The Chinese knockoff Bantha. Wow. Yeah, really stressful. Damn. It's dangerous but, uh, driving. To get around this well, one rock pile, you have to make like this uh, dangerous move maneuver that almost slams your uh, speeder into a huge cliff, but uh, you manage to avoid it only just barely, but of course it you know scares you the crap right out of you, so you take two strain. But you look really awesome doing it. The others might be a little impressed, maybe. Never. <laughs> uh. Damn you, Toba! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. I mean, you know, he's just taking a nap in the back. Resting his head against the bantha. <laughs> it's warm and fuzzy. Get a long Apparently, night. Apparently the makeshift chicken pot pie we made turned out pretty decently. Nice. How is it makeshift? We didn't have really any of the ingredients we needed except for chicken. Well, at least in the chicken. <laughs> at least there was one already. I think we had a we had a frozen pie crust, like for a quiche. <laughs> <laughs> we sort of cobbled it together from whatever we found in the kitchen. There you go. Incredible. Gummy bears and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing here and there and everywhere. That's just going to be all over the internet now because the, the DuckTales game. Most ringing endorsement of steroids I ever saw. <laughs> Alright, so as Galen uh, shoots around all these rocks and boulders and crap, uh, you do notice that the terrain is uh, changing rapidly. The You get around to some of these cliffs that rise about you. Uh, there's a tall bluff of rough red stone to your right, uh, surrounded by way more loose rubble. Like some kind of mine. No, actually, you're nowhere near the mines. 
You're a couple hours out still. Look, I'm the perception guy. <laughs> I per- well, I've perceived mind. mine. He sees mine. <laughs> well, if you want to roll perception, give me a hard check. I'm not rolling perception. That never works. <laughs> okay. I just make up, he just makes up what he sees. That's way better. <laughs> Do it. What is the reality but the subjective responses of our senses? <laughs> Deep. <laughs> Where the hell Dude. The Frodo in the back there's having a trip. <laughs> <laughs> even better. I don't even see any dice rolled. I didn't, I, I didn't roll any dice. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't remember how to uh, roll perception. Oh, that's great. Um, your perception's three now, isn't it? Yeah. And Running off of an amazing... On... It's, that's what, that's presence or is that intellect or... I think it's it's cunning, actually. Oh, cunning, right. So it would be three yellow die. Three yellow die and three purple die. Prepare to be amazed. Nice. I'm amazed. <laughs> the one making the check is certainly amazed. <laughs> ah, but there's so much sun out here, I guess you just take too strain doing it. Of course. My eyes, my bug eyes. All the facets are magnifying the sun. Well, actually, you do see something. Uh, something at the base of the rocky bluff at the right catches your eye, or your bug eyes, your multifaceted bug eyes. A pile of loose rocks partially obscures a dark passageway, the entrance to a cave in a bluff. And you also see what looks suspiciously like a large, round, insect-like head that just disappears behind a rock real quick, uh, as you look. Hmm. my scout skills. Scouting all over the place here. Is Buraban just sort of like passed out on Toven's lap? Yes. He and Prestov are curled up together. <laughs> uh, which one is the big spoon? This is pretty important. Uh, Buraban, obviously. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, no question. Rest off is tiny. <laughs> he could be pretending to be a jetpack. <laughs> That's what short people do when they're the big spoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awful. So, are you guys going to stop to ke- uh, check this out? or? Yes. Assuming Galen slows down. Sure. Otherwise, we're just hopping out of a moving speeder, and he just keeps going. <laughs> Galen just keeps going. Like, he looks I'm back. taking this what thing to Mexico. <laughs> Three point roll. Three point roll. <laughs> just you know, tuck and roll. It'll be fine. Some type of large insectoid. This is how this game yeah, talks now. Her eggs. <laughs> All right, so you slow down the speeder and you stop, and basically you get out where you are, and then, well, some stuff happens. Oh god, it's ant lions! Oh no! Shit! I hate this battle. It's tremors. Oh no! I don't want to be anywhere near Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't walk without rhythm. <laughs> Game over, man. Game over. And now, and now, Co will be really upset because he's not here for Dune references. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to listen to this uh, during the wake and just be like, oh, man. Damn it. Uh-oh. 
Yes, the large, round, insect-like head, which was a terrible description from the uh, PDF, is actually a gand. And I oh. wouldn't have noticed that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this gand has forgotten the face of his people. Oh my goodness. This gand has been in space too long. <laughs> All right, so this basically uh, starts to fight immediately as they start shooting at you. So, <laughs> indeed, let's uh, let's uh, roll uh, some initiative there. Uh, you guys, since you have stopped your vehicle and uh, were able to see the uh, GAN, which this GAN was not able to tell was a GAN, because you'll <laughs> <laughs> that's the threat. <laughs> uh, you can roll either cool or vigilance. Now, cool is cunning, right? Cool uh, is let's presence, see. or is it presence? Cool is presence. Cool, cool is presence. And, cool is presence, and vigilance is willpower. Oh, I'm rolling vigilance. Well, in that case, I'm rolling cool. Is it just the hey. just the dice we roll? Any difficulty or anything? Nope, no difficulties. I'm just gonna roll willpower then for vigilance. I get a boost die. Someday, I'll use magic retcon powers to transform my cool points into vigilance points. <laughs> well, probably what we'll do once we're done with Long Island on the Hut is uh, take a pause in order to wait for the stupid book to come out. We can rebuild the characters. Excellent. Well, if we do that, then um, I might run Dragon Edge. That'd be great. And, mm. and Steve gets dibs on a player spot because he's so much fun <laughs> in games. But I'd want to have like a small group, like maybe like four people. Four, eh? Yeah. Four to make a foray into Dragon mm -hmm. Age. Yes. Do the foyer. Man, these guys uh, have terrible initiative scores. Nice initiative there, Farrell. Yeah, good job. That's how I roll. <laughs> but you did get an advantage. I mean, not off your boost die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tovon, you gonna do that thing where you get an extra success? Um, yes, I will soak a strain to get an extra point of thingy initiative. Okay. Very technical discussions going on here. High tech, dude. This is how we roll. Ow! Dang. <laughs> I can give quick, myself a headache to move faster. Quick Strike doesn't <laughs> apply anymore. Oh, no, wait, no, they haven't acted yet. They eh, have eh, not. Eh, 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 eh. Uh, let's see, so we have... Did I take Quick Strike? No, I didn't. I have Quick Draw. Is it the same thing? No, Quick Draw lets me uh, draw an item as an incidental. Oh, okay. All right. So, like usual, uh, PCs top the chart, so who's going first? This Gand is going first. Because he's pissed he wasn't able to identify that Gand? Yes. That one over there? So he's going <laughs> to shoot him, so that no one can identify him. No one must know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, go for it. I must right. take <laughs> I must take his head before he recognizes me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull out my gun, I guess. It's probably a maneuver, seeing as I can't be incidental. So I'll, I'll pull out my gun, and I'm going to actually take aim. That's another maneuver, so you have to take uh, two strain in order to do it. By take aim, I meant shoot at. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the aim maneuver. Well, that's a technical term in the game. I apologize. I'm going to shoot at <laughs> human three. Okay. Now I have to remember how to shoot my gun. Uh, well, it's your range heavy. I think you're using a uh, blaster rifle, yeah? Yeah. Alright, so range heavy, which is uh, off of agility, and it's a medium range attack because you're three squares away, so uh, that would be two dice. Purple die. Two purple die. Two purple die, alright. And my ranged yeah. heavy is two, okay. So ranged heavy, sorry, you said that goes off agility? Yep. So that's one green, two yellow, one blue for quick strike, and two purple. Sounds good. Oh, 
All right. Wow. That's not too shabby. It is not. So uh, that's plus two damage over your normal damage thing, so you do 11, but knocked down by five, uh, so six damage at the moment. Uh, you'll take one more strain, and then you tell me how you spend your triumph. Hmm, I can't remember if I... The telescopic optical sight. Oh, that was only works for long range, right? Yeah, that only reduces the uh, difficulty of long and extreme range shots. Right. Okay. So, my triumph. Um, let's see. Uh, trying to think what kind of things I could do with that. Uh, you can trigger, uh, tr bleh, trigger a critical. Uh, no, no, you, you were right. You can Krieger something. Yeah, so you can Krieger it. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, trigger critical, upgrade the difficulty of the targeted enemy's next check, upgrade any allied character's next check, or, uh, I don't know, you could, like, hit the rocks behind him and bury him in rocks. That it's sounds like fun. Triumph. Let's, let's shoot the <laughs> rocks. Let's bury him in rocks. Okay, so he'll take six damage, and in addition to that, he'll, like, lose his next turn, because, you know, when you roll a triumph, it's supposed to be awesome. Yeah. Wasn't wild shooting at all. Sure it is. It's just you're awesome and you're you're heroic. You're I mean, you're supposed to do awesome things by accident. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just like saying, uh, like you know, the conventional image would be, oh, this gand is such a crack shooter who's doing it rather than like, oh, he just shot off wildly and everything went everywhere and the rocks fell down. <laughs> rocks fall. Totally everybody awful. dies. Exactly. What do you think you're shooting at? Exactly what this gand is aiming for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's uh, this gand's turn. So you got two more PC slots at the two rank. I'll take the next one if nobody else has a gumption for it. Okay. Okay, so I now have uh, I, I'm now two fisting weapons here. Um, Whoa. Yeah, I know. I know. Look out. A heavy blaster pistol and a blaster pistol. So how does how does shooting two of two work? Alright, well normally they do this whole thing where um uh, they have it such that you use like you determine what all the stats and what all the uh skills that you would normally use for the attack would be. That really only matters if you're using like like when Trex was using both his pistol and his claws. So mm -hmm. they're all the same thing. So it's going to be basically a normal uh, check as though you were firing just one gun. But you mm -hmm. add... First you got to figure out which one is your actual like main hand weapon. So I assume that would be the uh, heavy pistol with the Ye attachment on it. Yeah. All right. So that would be your main, uh, your main gun. Um, if you hit, you hit with that normally. And I think you need... You upgrade the difficulty of whatever check you make by one step. Or not upgrade it, but you add like another purple die. Okay. And if you roll, I believe it's two advantages, uh, you can trigger and your second pistol will hit. Okay. So, um, what are the stats on the heavy blaster pistol? Because I don't have those down. Oh, uh... It is 7 damage, a crit rating of 3, it has a medium range, and a hard point of 3. Okay. Medium range and a hard... Okay, so medium range means, uh, what, w effective from one square? Three squares. Three squares. Okay, so I don't have to move or anything. I can just do it nope. from right here. Okay, cool. Right. So I'll target... Uh, I will. I will risk the uh, the displeasure of uh, of one of our party members and target the Gand. <laughs> also, remember that you're using the heavy. You're using the blaster actuator, right? Uh, yeah. So that would mean that I, adds a setback die. A setback die. Okay. But you get plus one damage from it. Right. It's totally not a Gand. It's a that insectoid alien. Yeah. Insectoid alien. <laughs> It's an unknown insectoid alien that maybe thinks it's a Gand, but it's not. It's a Gand wannabe. <laughs> it's a near Gand, kind of like they have near humans. Exactly. You're not a Gand at all. You're just a man in a fur coat who needs a shave. <laughs> hey, so, S Steve, does this is this ranged? Is this a ranged heavy weapon or a ranged light weapon? Ranged light. light. Okay, just want to make sure. 
or like pistols range are light. delight. Pistols are light. Uh -huh. uh, rifles are heavy. And what's the difficulty rating again? Sorry. Uh, if you're shooting uh, two squares away, uh, it's too difficult to die, but then you add another one because you're doing the uh, second. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we'll see what happens here. I'm excited. It's going to blow up in my face. Yep. Well, it's not as bad as it could have been. <laughs> Your shots just go all over the place, and you kind of strain to hold the gun in check. Apparently, the the mod that Tovan passed you is a little bit heavier than you were expecting, and it just like blasts the cliff face. It's like firing off a uh, a desert eagle without even trying before. Firing off a desert eagle with one hand. <laughs> <laughs> but they do it in the movies all the time. Well, that means it must be easy, right? Exactly. exactly. Excuse me, I'm going to go jump through this plate glass window. <laughs> Thump. My dinner's oh. on the other side. <laughs> All right, you got a maneuver left. You want to try something? Uh, roll. Uh, I'll use the I'll, I'll use the spinning momentum from the fucking recoil to roll into cover. <laughs> you take cover behind the speeder. Yeah. Don't worry, Bantha. We'll save you. <laughs> Panther just farts every round. <laughs> oh, <laughs> terrible! All right, there's another PC slot now. Um, I do have Quick Strike for a boost die against a target. You think it's actually going to help you this time? Maybe. Uh, we can go for it. We can dream. Yes, we can. Um, I shall take out my rifle. Okay. And. Hmm, which is a good human. Well, one's buried under rocks. I won't shoot the one under rocks. That's just rude. <laughs> well, if you go for the guys that are further away, I'm going to throw a grenade next round. I'm on my action. Is three the one that's buried? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, and I'll shoot one. I will totally shoot one. One is just kind of confused. I shall name him Roderick. Okay, they had this now that... totally cool plan, and then he just they started shooting, and <laughs> <laughs> now his buddy's under rocks. Oh God! <laughs> um, now that I have equal ranks in ranged heavy that I do in agility, um, it'd just be all I... yellow die. Okay, plus my boost die. Plus your boost die, plus two uh, purple die. Two purple die. Bam! Oh. Nice. Not too shabby. You'll take yourself a strain, and that'll do... Uh, six damage again. Pew, pew. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Turns out these guys actually just wanted to give us some fruit baskets <laughs> and complimentary yeah. soaps. This Gand hates fruit. <laughs> this Gand is awfully intolerant. This Gand can't even eat fruit. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, that'd be it unless you want to take the two strain for another maneuver. Um, no, I'll actually keep my distance for now. Uh, there's one more PC slot, and then all five of them go. I'll take it. Okay. Gears can languish, suffering. Yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> he'll probably no. save the day like he always does. Probably. <laughs> I'm helping him be a plucky underdog. Good, good. <laughs> um, so what is the aim maneuver? What does it do? Okay, if you take an aim maneuver, it basically just gives you a uh, boost die to your check, and you can actually uh, aim twice, and it gives you two boost dies. And of course, it keeps going um, until the next round. So, like, if you shoot, and then you maneuver, um, it basically just applies to your next uh, attack. So, okay, I should let you know that if you're going to do a um, grenade, it's a range of short. 
So I need to be in the next square over? Yep. <sighs> mm. And it is a ranged light check. Right. All right, so I'll take a maneuver to uh, scooch up. Okay. And then it's two strain to take an extra maneuver? It is, yes. So I'll take two strain to take an aim maneuver. And then I'm going to throw a grenade into the square below me. So okay. with two and four. Now I have to target a specific one with the grenade? Yes, you do. Okay. So I'm, I'm targeting human two. Okay. All right. So I have agility three and also ranged light three. So it's just three yellow dice. Right. And since it's short range, it's only a purple die. But I'm going to be a dick. <gasps> and it's one red. And break the code. Oh, sorry, what? 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 So I take a so I have a challenge die. You uh, upgrade the one purple die to a red die. So it's just uh, three yellow and one red, and then one uh, one boost. Yeah, one boost. Well, aren't you a Dickosaurus Rex? <laughs> All right, Dick let's see how this goes. Oh, it not goes well. Advantage. Boom! But that's not enough advantages to activate the spread, right? I believe so. I'm checking right now. Doesn't matter. We can still say, screw you, dark side. You can't stop it, it, us. It, it, it got you a, th uh, a single threat, which you, you canceled out. But <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it needs... Um two advantages in order to trigger, unfortunately. Damn. So if it hadn't been for that threat... Ho oh, ho ho. So I just grenade. You grenade the ever-loving fuck out of that one. It was a frag grenade, right? Yes. So it does a total of 13 damage. Right? No, 12 damage, sorry. I can't math. Um, but then 5 soak... So seven damage. These human henchmen look so cranky. They're very surly, yes. Like who pissed in their space Cheerios? <laughs> well that Gand, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. He's gotta keep him mean. According to according to the expanded universe, Gand urine is made up entirely of ammonia too. Oh wow. just, just a hundred percent. So it's good for window cleaning. <laughs> yes. Good for windows, bad for space Cheerios. <laughs> uh, I just completely fucked up the math right there for some reason. I don't know where my head is today. You're thinking about the gand you're in, aren't you? I, I am. Oh, yeah. You can never not think about it now. <laughs> what you got in the fridge? Oh, you got some Kool-Aid, you got some Ganyard, you got some purple stuff. Whoa, go back that second one, one more, go back one more. What did you say? <laughs> Ganyard? The real uh, Sunny Delight. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so you rolled three extra successes, so the total damage is 11. And then uh, you knock off five from their soak, so you actually do six damage. It's okay. Still six damage. Well, while Galen, like, cowers beneath the speeder, Tovan just <laughs> steps forward and unleashes. Uh, Alright, so that's, uh... You, you just uh, have one advantage you can give, like, a boost out to someone, I guess. Your your grenade has set them off, uh, off balance. Sure, that sounds good. Whoever right. goes next, which will be Gears. Uh, he goes after all five of them go, unfortunately. Hang in there, Gears. That's fine. <laughs> Don't die, Gears. I'm bring this mother down. <laughs> You're gonna defeat them with mechanics, Gears. He's gonna burn it all down to the ground. He's, he's right. had a he's had a giant robot the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, these guys are just basically gonna go left to right. So Gand, the first one, 
the one that isn't a Gan. The insectoid alien. Yes, indeed. Uh, he's going to actually take cover behind the rocks that he's in there, and those are like some really badass rocks. So actually, they give uh, two setback die to target. Oh. Oh. And since Galen fired on him, he's going to return fire. Galen's behind cover, though, so he gets just the one setback die for inferior cover. Sneering. I don't know how he sneers around the respirator, but he does sneer, damn it. Sneers with his eyes. Jazz dance. Interpretive sneer dance. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Pew pew. It just misses. It like bangs off the speeder. Bantha farts. <laughs> and it distracts him all the way from over there. It ignites, everything explodes. Whoops. Game over. He can actually take strain, so... He'll take a wound. Alright, next guy is Human 1. Go Human 1. He's a little bit alarmed by the grenade that Tobon threw, so he's going to go ahead and try to shoot that guy. He only has a blaster pistol, though. Actually, a heavy blaster pistol. Hey, Ooh. what you doing? Gonna <laughs> kill me? Hey, forget about it. What, you guys don't like fruit baskets? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, dear. Uh-oh. Well, guys, it was a nice run. <laughs> Uh, he hits you, 7 damage is, I think, yeah, 7 damage against your Ow. soak of... 3. Oh, wait, 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 you have a defense. Yes, I have a defense of 1, yeah. Okay, so it cancels one of the advantages, at least. Yes! Uh, but you still take 3 damage, so... Oh, no, you have a soak of 3, I'm sorry. I That's think I everyone has, damage. yeah, 4 damage. I can't math tonight, I just cannot. Damn you, math. Plague us no more. Well, there is an upside to that. I was planning on having him uh, trigger a critical hit because his critical rating is three, but because of the threat, he cannot do that anymore. So, sucker. He's instead just going to impose a setback die on anything Tovan does next turn. Sucker. <laughs> okay. Well, next turn I'm going to aid him then. <laughs> <laughs> just ironically. And then as a maneuver, he's actually going to retreat down the tunnel. Tovan puts on some hipster glasses. Alright, the guy buried in rocks, I'm going to say is just going to have to lose his whole turn as he dicks himself out. Bastard. Sucks to be him. Indeed. That's what he gets for arbitrarily attracting this Gan's attention. <laughs> I'm not sure it was so arbitrary. Well, uh, his sneer seemed marginally larger than the others. He uh, had a little uh, extra in his Cheerios. Little floating bits. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, human Gross. two. He's going to fire back at Tovan. Because grenades are not cool. Hey! <laughs> Don't forget my defense this time. Yeah. And he is in short range, so he only takes one difficulty. But, uh, those advantages. He's going to keep uh, the pressure on to Tovan, and he actually, uh, Tovan's going to take two setback die whenever he does it, something against right next round. Yeah, I'm Tovan. <laughs> Maybe you should just sit down and take a timeout. <laughs> so what have we learned about grenades today, kids? They attract attention. That it would have been way funnier if I had gotten one more advantage. <laughs> it would have. <laughs> um, Human 2 is also going to take cover behind those rocks. He will take uh, two setback die to target him. Human 4 apparently is a coward because he's going to convert his... Uh, attack into a move and take two maneuvers to run the hell away. St 
Still sneering while he does it. Still sneering, yes. The cure, I'm fleeing. All right, and that will be their turns. So we have one more PC slot, which means gears. It's it's me. I'm a, I'm a guy. Got to shoot. Oh, you're the not. Dirt. You're a radiant. I'm going to use a maneuver to draw my heavy blaster pistol. Okay. Uh, use another maneuver to slip in here. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Don't mind right. me. I'm just holding my my dramatically injured arm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just a flash wound, though. Which puts me in short range, I believe. You take two strain for the thing. Okay, we'll do. I'm on it, Chief. Yes, suffer that strain. It's the only thing I can actually inflict upon you. <laughs> uh, right. So that puts me in short range of this guy. It this does. human two man. So I'm going to finish my campaign of terror by... Taking a shot at human two. He's turned into Whoa. Gears of War. Oh. <laughs> uh, that'll be one purple die because you're in short range, but two setback die because of his cover. Yep, 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 yep. Because of his chest high wall. Nice. Well, I got his successes and a threat. <laughs> so another strain for me. Another strain for you. <laughs> Cut oh, uh, what you can get, man. Hold on wait, one second, I forgot one dice because of Tovan's thing. Hold on a second. Okay. Oh, that's but it didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that does a total of eight damage and reduces uh, his soak is reduced by five, so he does three. I did that math right, I think. Good job. Good work. That's that's accurate math. Now you're mathing. Hooray. I'm mathing with power. Now you're cooking with math. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, so that'll bring us back to the top of the PC round. So we have a PC slot up front. I guess I'll go again. I'm Sounds going... Good. I'm going to um, roll over and lie down in cover, I guess. Doesn't look like there are any All rocks. Right. Well, you do have the speeder, it's just not represented. Alright, I'll hide behind the speeder, on the opposite end from the bantha butt. That's probably a good idea. That's where Galen is, though. That's okay. the reason why it's a good idea, though. <laughs> I'll be the big spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take another shot at human three. That poor bastard. Because I must kill all humans. He's a good target to start with. He's, he's sneering right at you, man. I know he is. Has he acted yet? He had to skip his last turn because you buried him rocks. Hmm, so it's right, a quick strikes... this round. No, it, you, that, that will trigger so you get your boost die. High five. And that's two difficulty still? Yep, no setback because he's not in cover, so. But by him. Bad. You with the advantages. Is that enough to trigger a critical hit? Or do you need a triumph for that? Uh it depends on what your critical rating is. Um uh, what? You have a blaster heavy blaster? I'm sorry, a blaster rifle. Or my yeah, blast, blaster blaster rifle. So yeah, your critical rating is three, which means you need three advantages. Yeah, Which... different weapons have different critical ratings, and so need different amounts of advantages. But so a triumph I... always works. So then I can use my three advantages to trigger a critical hit. That's right. I'm going to do that. All righty then. So since you're a PC inflicting a critical wound on him, go ahead and roll a 1d100. Because it's funnier this way. Wow, that's that's high. It's an A. Eighty six percent and above is an A in B C. Really? All my uh teachers always was like ninety or higher. Welcome to the future. <laughs> Alright, eighty seven. 
Ah, that's not the right critical table. God damn. I should sticky this thing up. Well, first you do your nine damage, which is reduced to um, four because of his soak. Mm -hmm. He's not dead. However... However... Wow. So, an 87, basically, it's called compromised, which is a terrible word for <laughs> trying to come up with what happens to him. Um, but what it does, <laughs> it increases the difficulty of all checks by one until the end of the encounter for him. Okay. So, I don't know, you shoot him a couple times in the chest, and he has this huge, horrible, gaping chest one now. Maybe I blew off one of his hands. That poor bastard. No, that's actually a, a thing. Is, oh, uh, that would be a different, a different thing. Be a di higher roll, yeah. Okay. You can actually lo lose limbs on a roll of one, uh, 101 to 105. <laughs> Everyone just takes a moment to think about that. Gotta be careful. Yeah, I'll we'll build you a new hand. Yeah, cybernetics and stuff. Your robot limbs. It's cool losing a limb in Star Wars. Alright, so that guy is, like, well and truly hosed. He's not dead, though. So, uh, your maneuver is to, to, take, to take cover, so unless you want to take another maneuver... Uh, I'm good. For two straight. Alright, we have two more PC slots now. I'll go again, try to redeem myself. Okay. So, Galen crawls out from underneath the speeder or the bantha or wherever the hell he was. And uh, I'll move forward one square. Nope. And I will target... Uh, is is that Gan, like, in the open and everything? He's behind cover, so it would take... Okay. Uh, is there anything that is not behind cover? Uh, the human three that uh, this Gan just shot. Okay. I'll target him. You can also try shooting... Either of the humans that are further in the cave. Oh, well. Let's see. I can see them? Yeah, it'll just be a little more difficult because you're kind of shooting into darkness, sort of. Yeah. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll target the GAN, and I'll just, use, I'll just use the main blaster instead of trying to double shoot it since he's already taking penalties for the cover. Okay, um... Well, if you did do the double-fisted, it would just be two purple and two black, but if you don't, it's just one purple and two black. <clears throat> okay, I'll, 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 I'll double-fist it then. Hooray! Oh, yeah. Steve just hoorays because he hopes something bad happens to me. <laughs> I do. So, two purple and two black, right? Right. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Dang, girl. That's like That's this why a gunman should have two eyes. <laughs> <laughs> if only I hadn't wanted to look cool instead of be effective. Nice nope. work, Rooster Cogburn. Ooh. <laughs> ah. That just means I'll have a really, really cool moment at the end of the campaign, and one of you will still have to save my ass. Well, since you got two threats and no successes, basically this hand takes the opportunity to like do a little bit of return fire. He doesn't hit you, but he will impose a... Uh, Wait, this fight. hand? Traitor! No, that the hand. Other hand. Yeah, that, that hand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> stupid gans. <laughs> that gans. Take names. That band will uh, just basically do some suppressive fire since uh, only this band is in cover. I hope he so, shouts suppressive fire as he does it. <laughs> yes, he does. Well, of course, it's only in candies, though, so only this band can hear it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so whoever acts next gets a setback die. Bring it on. Is that Saria claiming next? I definitely uh, want to yes. go before the other guys do so that I can 
um, not be standing out in the open. Injured. That means he gets three setback dies now. <laughs> well, Sarah can go next. There's another slot before they go, right? Yeah, yeah I think the initiative is fine as, as it's been playing out. Um, sure. I feel like being dangerous and just like trying to hit human four from here. You just want to show off. Yeah, I do. That extreme range. It's just. It's only long, actually. Ow. Oh. See, he's acted, so I don't get the boost die. No, you, you get it. It resets every round, as far as I'm aware. Oh, boost die. Does it? Yeah, uh, it's be because of the nature of initiative, where you can basically take. Uh, whatever order of actions you want, I still think that it should trigger like basically every time. I guess we'll find out definitively when the book comes out. Yeah. Right. Uh, what's my difficulty? Uh, because you have the telescopic sight, you can. It's just too too uh, too purple. But because you're shooting into darkness, I'm going to say it upgrades the check by one, so it'll be one purple, one red. And boom. Boom indeed. Ooh. Here comes the boom. Ready or not. Hold on one sec. Dancing on his feet, uh oh. Alright, sorry about that. Long pauses there. Yes, long pauses <laughs> are lovely. Uh, but yes, you got three advantages, so how would you care to spend those? Trigger a mm. critical hit. <laughs> See, critical hit the air. <laughs> yeah. is actually the rating for criticals for me but damn it I have no successes yeah you gotta hit um uh, the air is now dead everyone else dies as a result <laughs> <laughs> not me I shot the air everybody needs respirators this gand is already set damn you um, well some of the stuff you can do is you can uh, say that you have gotten a bead on him and you will take no penalties next round for shooting into the cave. I will do that for one advantage. That's actually three advantages. Ah! Very well. I shall take that. <laughs> okay. I will not be denied another bullet to the face. Or er, giving a gun a bullet. Sure, whatever. <laughs> It's okay, man. It's okay. Alright, Tovan, I guess, is next. Um, okie dokie. So, right now, I if I try to attack anybody, I have, like, two setback die, right? Right, and if you try to attack the human in front of you, or that gand over there, you'll take another two to a setback die. Alright, so... Um... They can all kiss my ass, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to use one maneuver to go there. Okay. Then I'm going to take two strain. Because why not? Why not? So take another maneuver to take cover. Okay. And then I'm going to use a uh, uh, stim pack on myself. Uh, you're going to convert your action into basically another maneuver, I guess. And then Is that a maneuver? Also... Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, yeah, then. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so I'm taking three maneuvers, basically. Okay, so you recover all your wounds. Yay. Yep. Uh, yeah, okay. So I guess that brings us to the uh, enemy's turn. It's your turn now, GM. All right, we'll just go uh, sort of left to right-ish again. They've changed positions, but whatever. So this gand, or rather that gand. Come on. 
the, the vaguely greenish skin as opposed to the yellowish skin. <laughs> yeah, that's less racist. Wow. <laughs> you went uh, there, man. I did. He's going to shoot at uh, Galen, and Galen doesn't have any cover anymore, right? That's true. He's in the open. Ah, uh, Galen, Galen, Galen. But he'll shoot. He'll shoot you in the butt. Mm-hmm. It's going to happen. Just watch. Uh, just for the hell of it, I'll go ahead and spend a dark point. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh, to upgrade my... He's going to get shot and get cancer now, or something. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. <laughs> Lord. It's only short distance, only thanks to one I guess it would be called, uh, you know, Ganser. <laughs> Terrible. <sighs> Bam! Oh, oh. Jesus! <laughs> a Sarlacc pit just opens up and these games beat, and that's Galen it. Brought, things that were brought out by Galen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, this take... only happens to me, though. It's funny when it happens to the rest of you because of me. <laughs> It was nice knowing you, Galen. Well, this is the quote-unquote uh, heavy gunner who uses a blaster rifle, so... Uh... God, even one of those dives looks like a spear going right through somebody's anus. <laughs> <laughs> That's the triumph, yes. Y- yes. Alright, so it will do a total of seven damage to you. Which is half your total health. Yeah. Ow. And oh, wait, for... wait, I think I, I You think got I had... soak. Yeah. No, that's with the soak. Oh. Dang. Uh, the threat will take another wound off from the Gan. And as a triumph, I will activate a critical hit. Now, these Got guys it. have a cool little thing called Lethal Blow, which adds uh, cool. plus 10 to the uh, 1d10 roll. Or, I'm sorry, the 1d100 roll. Oh, no. Roll 100. Roll 100. I think we're going to need a bigger boat. 51, that's not bad. Actually, we need a smaller boat. So what happens? Fearsome wound. It is an average difficulty to get rid of it. Increase the difficulty of all presence and willpower checks by one until the end of the encounter. Basically, he, like, nicks your other eye or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now you must use your inner eye. Which also has an eye patch on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Since they're kind of far down and they have a target... Yeah, they they can target uh, Gears and Galen. The guys in the far back will... One of them, human one, will target Galen because, I don't know, he doesn't like iPads. The other will target Gears. Brother had an iPad. Hates his brother. <laughs> oh, no. Human 3 is going to be joining the iPad club pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh dear. Don't die, Galen. Uh, die, leave me your stuff. <laughs> okay, you get to have the eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works All right. for me. Good luck. So three extra damage on top of his seven damage, reduced by your soak, you'd take six more damage. Oh my goodness. I, wow, I'm almost dead. <laughs> Stepping out into the open was a bad plan. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've learned something today. I've learned to hide like the desert worm, burrowing <laughs> to the sand. <laughs> Precisely. Uh, Gears, you're not behind cover, are you? No, sir. Alright. Galen just cover. looks over. I mean, no, Gears just looks over at Galen like, man, I think this was a bad idea. <laughs> I, I have Gears' cover, so I'm good. <laughs> uh, this is the good time to point out that light side points can be used defensively to upgrade the difficulty of a check. 
just in case. I'll take my chances. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot that the other guy got threats, so let me roll a setback die here. Uh -oh. adds, it does add a fail, which means it does slightly less damage. Oh, good. Yeah. It'll be uh, 9 damage versus your soak of 4, so 5 damage. Oh, wow, that's some damage. It is. Shit is getting real at the edge of the Empire. <laughs> And they will both move further into the cave. Now this guy, he's going to shoot at Gears too. Oh no, no guy! Guy, <laughs> guy human too. You're the worst human. <laughs> gears, gears. Use a use a light side point. <laughs> Not now. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Gears doesn't good. believe in the force. Really, <laughs> really, gears. <laughs> Just keeps getting killed. <laughs> no, I don't want him to spend a defense point. <laughs> uh, goodness. Oh, that last guy took a wound too. Um, shit, I don't remember who it was. Um, we'll say it's the was it human three? Wound. No, it's. Uh, this is human three firing right now, but the last guy that I rolled uh, got a threat, so I'll, I'll say that's a. Uh, that's uh, human one since he's already got wounds. All right. You see, what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna get the blood rage, and <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the legendary Rodian berserker. The Rodian rage. blood rage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You take another five damage. So their he, head just kind he, of explodes. He rips, he rips off it. his his Rodian skin and reveals that he was actually a Wookiee the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, that actually looks terrible. Uh and then this last human goes. Oh so uh <laughs> oh, here's one of us is dying. How about uh, those light side points, guys? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it'll be fine. So on the next turn I load a lightsaber into my rifle. <laughs> <laughs> Thump. I'm sorry, but lightsabers <laughs> have pressure sensors so that when someone's not holding them, they turn uh, off. No, actually, some of them don't. <laughs> I think you'll find if you check the expanded universe. Some <laughs> gonna, just gonna duct tape it down, okay? So that they can just be left on when they're thrown. <laughs> Otherwise, that saber throw power in the uh, Old Republic would be really awkward. Uh, they're well, using no, the because force sometimes to hold the button you actually down. hold the panel down with the force. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the important part is when you're playing a guardian, your most damaging attacks don't use the blade anyway. It's okay. <laughs> those are going to be gone soon anyway. Oh, they're taking those out. Uh, taking, it'll, it'll, taking all the good it'll attacks be fine. out. Yeah. It'll, it'll be what? fine, Galen. It'll be fine. We'll be okay. Well, I I can't see no reason he wouldn't gun down a Rodian in cold blood. So, yo, yo, God, okay, saved Galen. by racism. Light side point. Light side point. Um, Light. I'm, gu I'm gonna this time because <laughs> <laughs> seems pretty important now. All right. Uh, just click the destiny token up there and click a yeah. There. All right. Uh, so that'll upgrade his check to uh, one purple, one red. Save me, luck. Save and me. the last guy that rolled uh, got two threats, so set back and impose. Come on, shoot oh. himself, shoot himself. Oh. Well, it was a nice plan with you. Gears, no. Only now do I realize that I liked him, even though he was a Rodian. Fado. <laughs> That's another five, it's, isn't it? It is another five, yeah. Uh. All oh, right, so. Uh, wow. So I is think, Gears he's dead? Four. No, he's not dead. Oh, it's actually four? It's only four ones, only. Okay, then I will heal one. My wound threshold is 12. 
He's yeah, still no. He's still yeah, kind he's of alive. A party member. <laughs> uh, I think he's actually at wounds um, fourteen, but the code messes up sometimes, so we have to track them how deep they go. Okay, I'll 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 add a note that I'm at fourteen wounds. No, nah, I just manhandled your properties. Get one in there uh, vigorously. Oh yeah. All right. So when you go down and exceed your uh, wound threshold, basically. What happens is you are knocked out and incapacitated for the remainder of the encounter or until your wounds are decreased below your wound threshold um, through some means such as stim packs or whatever. Also, when you go down, you are immediately inflicted with a critical uh, injury. Oh, good. Good. Let's see it. Let's see it. Give it to me. I, I love it. Oh, 23. That's not bad. It's just HIV. <laughs> Gears... You're not paralyzed. No, it's just a easy check. It's called off balance, and you add um, a setback die to your next skill check, which doesn't matter. Yeah. But for healing purposes, it's uh, important to remember that you have a critical uh, wound on you. Because so, if you have another critical on you, then they, you add plus 10 to the next critical, and so on and so forth. Oh, Presto's the only doctor. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm, I'm so glad our doctor's not here. <laughs> Didn't somebody buy stim packs? Yep. Yeah, but they've got diminishing some. returns. <laughs> <laughs> they do, yeah. Gears has developed the resistance because he's a junkie. So I've only got a med <laughs> pack. Uh, junkie? And that's why I'm not healing Galen, but instead I'm he going to heal Gears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, well, there would be a PC slot now, but uh, the Rodian is taking a dirt nap, and he cannot use it, and everyone else has used theirs. So... <laughs> Rostov comes out and headbutt everything to death. 